All right. Hello, everybody. Ian here with the Canoe Club team, and we are here to show you our favorite fits for the month of September. Uh, all right. So just announced today, our legacy is going to be in our shop. Um, so I got these, they call these the digital jeans. That is because all the distressing is digitally printed on the jean. You can see down here, pocket, and it's all over the thing. Um, so from afar, you'd think it's just a normal, regular old distressed jean, but this is actually brand new. <laughs> so I kind of like that paradox almost, you know, that contradicting aspect of them um next i also like the nice light blue wash and how it mimics like that classic levi's twist seam where like if you washed it the seam would twist around to the front of your leg just super cool if you're you're a denim head like i um and then we've got lady white natural tea simple simple keep the colors together here of what i have going on up top um Next piece is a Nigel Caborn piece. This is new to the shop as well. This knit hoodie, super cool. The stripe on the bottom also has the pockets on each side and it goes all the way through and across. You can hold your hands in there. But nice heavyweight knit sweater with a hood. I mainly just picked it because it had a hood. And then, final piece, Junya Watanabe Man. This winter coat for the season. It's a mixture of almost like a Mexican blanket, serape style. I think it's like a wool blend up here to this satiny quilted material down here. I love the, the frills. There's a lot going on. I love the mixture of like the natural materials with the synthetics. Here's the back and sticking with that kind of cream natural color scheme I have going on today with a little bit of brown. And top it all off with the cozy toed New Balances. They're like fleece lined, they're puffy down shoes and clearly with the off-white cream color as well. And put it all together and I think we look pretty cool. All right, hey all, this is uh, Favorite Picks for the month of September. Um, I feel like I say this every time we do this, but we're, we've got a lot of new product in the last couple weeks, so I'm kind of treating this as like a try-on for things that I might also snag for myself. But uh, yeah, some heat. So uh, just got Lady White, just got Nigel Kborn, um, and a second delivery of EG, but yeah, so let me just hop into it. So starting from the top, these Lady White caps are absolutely perfect. I, it's like a perfect mixture of like like a dad-ish cap, you know what I mean? It's not like, it's not as full as say like a trucker cap, but it's also not like a super narrow, um, not narrow, but like super shallow of a fit. So I really like the fit on these, you'll see in the video. Um, moving down from that, outermost layer will be this loiter in the poly wool from EG. Um, kind of a standout piece in the shop for me ever since we shot it on our models Boone and Lauren, which I really liked. Uh, I like the styling, but I thought that like this kind of this piece stood out to me in that in that shoot. Um, so I wanted to work this in. Underneath that is this Nigel Kborn crew neck. Kind of cool has the hoodie detail here. Um, yeah, just dope. Uh, I like the the actual fabric itself has like a nice hand to it. I like that it's a washed black. I'm kind of leaning into like the punk kind of black look. Um, a lot of my old black tees and stuff are already getting there as well but this thing's sick um 
yeah, the, the band isn't super tight at the bottom either. So I like that it's gonna like play proportionally. I don't like when a band is really tight on my waist and I have to like yank the t-shirt out a bunch of times. But so we got this crew, this crew neck here from Nigel Kborn, the double pleat pants in uh, khaki ripstop from Kborn as well down low. Um, Ian put these on the other day and the fit is superb. Fits nice in the waist, plenty of room without being like a massive pant. And then also same deal. Um, the leg itself is like definitely a straight leg. I wouldn't call it slim, but it's certainly not like anti-fit either. I think sometimes with K-Born stuff, you really got to lean into like the massive look. So I was happy to see that these aren't like over the top big. Down low to wrap it up. Uh, these capital, uh, you know, side zip Chelsea sort of deals. Um, I haven't even put these on, but I had a black hat and these sort of like black gray. So I didn't want to have the footwear be too anomalous. So decided I'm gonna work these in. But yeah, I'm really stoked to put all this on um, and just kind of see how it looks. I'm hoping for like a tastefully slouchy kind of deal. I would wear this to a pizza parlor or I just recently went and got Korean barbecue the other day. So I would wear it to go get some K barbecue. That was, that was just the coolest shit ever. So. That's what I would wear this kit to do. Yeah, if this if this fit were a car, it would be it would be like an Audi wagon. That's how I view it. So, think about that. So for my favorite fit, I wanted to showcase this J Press Varsity jacket. This really caught my eye when they posted it on the Instagram. So I, I definitely had to pick this one. I was gonna go for something kind of classic 50s feel, but also kind of keep it a little contemporary. Um, this has a twill sleeve. I did kind of think that it was gonna be leather when I saw it online. So I just like to showcase for those of you who can't see this in person, nice wool body. I'm gonna put this chambray or slow shirt kind of on the bottom, let it hang out, and then put this Marnie sweater over the top of it. And this is really cool too, cause this is kind of like a fusion sweater. So I like that from the front to the back, you kind of have two different vibes, I guess. Um, but I think all of these colors are really speaking with each other. Keeping the rest of the fit relatively straightforward and simple. Again, Orslo 107s. If you don't have a pair of these jeans, you need to get a pair. It's an amazing fit, um, something that will age over time. I've picked this before in the previous videos. And then to tie it all together, just like as classic as it gets, this new balance with the gray and the dark gray and the light gray. I mean, this is going to be money. It's going to feel really like I'm going to the, to the football game for those of you at home. So let's see. It. Uh, as the weather starts to get colder, you can tell that we're all very excited to be layering some pieces and moving away from the shorts and t-shirt kind of vibe. Um, so really hope you guys like what we picked out. Check out all these pieces on our website, chopcanoeclub.com. You know, any ideas for new videos or any comments you have, throw them down there in the comment section. We love to hear your guys' feedback. And I hope everyone enjoys the start to the fall season.